thought they were on the stereo in the bedroom singing about Camelia La Tejana. La traición y el contrabando son cosas sin compartidas. She looked around, the white and grown crowd moldings, the landscapes on the walls with couples strolling at sunset, the porcelain figurines she'd collected over the years that filled the shelves, making a pretty, comfortable home. She knew this was not her home anymore, and that in a few minutes, it would be a trap. She looked at herself in the big mirror on the dresser, naked, wet, her dark hair sticking to her face, and between the strands of her hair, her black eyes open, bulging in horror. Run, and don't stop. Wado and the voice on the phone had told her. So she started running. Smith Corona and I went to make my bed. He hangs out down on Alvarado Street by the pioneer chicken stand. That, that your existence is connected to everybody else's and that there are these luminous threads holding the universe together in a constellation of cosmic relationships. Well, this is one of those moments. And a set of luminous threads connecting us all, it's the darkness of drugs and how they get into your body. A kid starts a line in L.A. And they dig up a narcofosa in Tamaulipas. If you smoke any pot, smuggle across the border. You're getting high on blood. The gun that just executed a Zeta gangster in Mexico? Was made in America. And Jesus Christ, would I ever buy my weed from the diabolical depths of the Mexican drug war? God, no. Do you know how big my carbon footprint would be? <laughs> That's all such a buzzkill. Welcome to Variedades! Of course, in the people in Mexico, if you, you're an educated woman, you have your college degree, but also and it's expected of you that you're also going to be a beauty queen in every town in Colombia and in Mexico and in Venezuela has its beauty queen and you can say, oh, esta es mi novia, it's my girlfriend, and, oh, ella es la reina de, you know, de Eco Park, ella es la reina de Silver Lake, and so you're very proud of that, and so uh, what's become this trend, you know, according to my unofficial study, is that, um, you know, if you're a drug lord worth your salt, that you also will have your reina, and so the reina becomes is your girlfriend and then becomes your wife or your mistress. And it almost seems like Miss Sinaloa, like Miss USA goes out and starts talking about cancer, diabetes, but Miss Sinaloa always becomes an arconobi. <laughs> right? The lords of death gather around that dark house under the 6th street bridge where junkies go to die. Lords of death are back in town for sure. And the long arm of the Sinaloa cartel lurks around the Taco Zone taco truck where hipsters gather to eat grated up organ tacos every night. I can't even get a lengua taco, goddammit. They're sold out. And the little gavachita, she orders her tacos because she can't say lengua. Two tacos. <laughs> a side of horchata! Hey Mickey! A white boy was killed right over here on Logan and Sunset last fucking week. 
As much as I rail against the hipsters, I don't know of one hipster killing a cholo. <laughs> and the rampart batons are gonna come crashing down on the next pelon. Lurking around the corners, there are no economic, viable jobs. I would wash that white boy's feet if he were still alive. Fifty Guadalupanas, fifty Rastafarans, fifty ghost dancers, fifty beer dancers, dance ceremonia in Echo Park Lake right now. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The redemptive waters of the Echo Park Lake! City of dust, ashes to ashes. Muchísimas gracias. Desire, fear, greed, and shame, it's so hard to hear it. The cry of your own broken body, soul, and spirit. What child, you look for love. Oh, baby, heaven is above. Hell on earth came and found you. You didn't ask for it, it grew around you. Poor child, can't get no peace. Oh baby, if I could release your dreams and lift you off your knees. My God, I'm asking you Imagine standing in a field of snow. There is snow falling everywhere about your body. Tiny white petals of it, hushing as they fall, all sound. Absorbing as they fall, all traces of shape and color. You stand still, mesmerized by how the snow swallows your breath and by how little breath your body seems to need to stand so quietly alone. You feel warm and are grateful for it, even as your skin turns cold. Gradually, this thickening veil of whiteness obscures your body until you disappear altogether from this wintry scene. But you are unaware of your own disappearance, just as you are unaware of the coldness of your skin and the tapering of your breath. All that you are aware of now is the endless falling of snowflakes. Trapped in the thickest of boundaries, you can't imagine anything else. You can't imagine anything. Serenity, overdose, suicide. Alegría. A mi tierra me quiere. 
A guy named Javier Cecilia in Cuernavaca, a writer, a well-regarded author, said, Estamos hasta la madre. He's a poet, and he grabbed a phrase in Spanish, Estamos hasta la madre, which is very Mexican Spanish, which means literally we are up to our mother, you know? But think about it for a second, you know, we're up to the most, we, we, the violence has invaded the most sacred spaces, the mother, life itself. Javier Cecilia's own son was killed by the violence, and in the midst of his mourning, he wrote an anguish manifesto that included this line, Estamos hasta la madre of the violence. And tens of thousands of people marched across Mexico and are still marching. Just last weekend they got to the Zócalo. The question is, why? ¿Por qué no estamos hasta la madre aquí? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh,